How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Minecraft Chronicles. I am still Santa Claus, because I haven't managed to change out of my outfit yet. But another very Merry Christmas to you. I hope you had a wonderful day. Um, it's the day after Boxing Day today, and I finally got some time to sit down and record some Minecraft Chronicles for you. So we're underground right now. Ooh, that's my face. Uh, we're down in a... Where are we? We're down in a strip mine, as you can see here. Um, off camera. I've been doing a little bit of digging. Um, I've dug up a few tunnels here, or just them two. And what I've been doing is I've been putting a chest at the end of each of these so I can show you exactly what I managed to get out of each of the finds. So, not managed to find too much great, uh, but on this side, um, as I get to the end, I'm going to whack some torches down so it's not completely dark. Um, this is boarded up because, as you can hear, there is lava on the other side of it, so we don't want to go that way. Um, but on the other side, I have found something quite interesting. Um, I have found a ravine. Uh, now, the ravine I have marked nicely with the ravine this way. I don't know if that's how you spell ravine, but there we go. Um, it's a big, massive ravine, which is um, covered up while... Well, I meant. But yeah, so it's a big, massive ravine. We're in it here. Um, I literally just came in here and then went straight out again and thought, you know what, I have to record this because it is absolutely gigantic ravine and it's completely covered up as well um, I'm actually on peaceful there we are. So this is gonna make things a little more exciting for these baddies down here so the first thing I want to do really is uh, try and light as much of this up as I can um, my whole purpose of being down here was to collect some resources and uh, collect some pieces and bits and bobs and that kind of thing um, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do it section by section. So we're going to light up to here and then we'll go back and collect everything that we've got. So we can do. So while we're collecting everything up, we can talk a little bit about Christmas. So please leave me in your comments below what your favourite Christmas present was, um, any funny stories you have from Christmas or anything like that. Um, my Christmas was absolutely brilliant. I spent with the family. Uh, Myself and my wife went round to my mum and dad's house. Uh, my sister came over. Um, don't really get to spend that much time together as a family. Obviously, as we're getting getting more grown up now, um, there's a lot less family time, which is it's quite sad. But uh, we've all got stuff going on in our lives that we uh, that we have to get on with. Um, if you've been watching the Minecraft Chronicles since episode one, um, you know that my wife's pregnant and we're expecting our first little baby boy. Um, he was actually due on Christmas Day, so he's now two days late. So everything that we're doing at the moment is all planned around... Well, hang on a minute. We may have a baby soon, so uh, we obviously can't go too far away from the hospital, and uh, we've just got to be on call for when he's ready to come and meet us. So uh, it's very exciting. I'm getting a little bit impatient of waiting for him now. With a little baby Wooders world. But I will sure to let you know as soon as he does arrive. Um, when he does come, you may notice that my videos will, uh, the uploads will slow down a little bit at first, but then when I work out a schedule on uh, how we're going to fit everything in, then obviously it will all go back to normal uh, on Wooders Wonderworld's channel. And I won't forget about the Minecraft Chronicles. Don't worry about that at all. So, so we managed to get some coal and iron so far. Um, as exciting as this ravine looks, it doesn't look like it's massively filled with ores, which is a little bit unfortunate. I was hoping to come out with an absolute stack of, um, sort of iron and other goodies, really, but it really does only seem to contain coal, which is a bit of a pain. But you can never have too much... Oops. You can never have too much... Um... What are you doing? There we are. Okay, yes, yeah, so you can never have too much... Um anyway I haven't really set up my nether base yet which is something we're gonna do in the next couple of episodes or so and um, with that hopefully we'll be able to try and get some more blaze rods and so we can hopefully use them in furnaces with a bit of luck so this section is pretty much cleared out there's not really much in here uh, which is unfortunate but we will continue to go down did I just see something there just one more torch is okay. No major problems there. Now, you may have noticed that I'm using a different texture pack. Um, I'm using the OVO, I believe it's called texture pack now. Um, it's another HD one. It's uh, 64 by 64, I believe. Um, it's really nice. It's very similar to the John Smith's one, 
it's in my opinion it's a complete um, like it's half like Sfax and half like the photorealism one and a bit of John Smith's as well the fact it's quite medieval and uh, I really like it so I'm gonna give this one a bit of a go um, I did like the John Smith's one and I do like the Sfax one as well but um, I like to uh, use plenty of different texture packs just to variety things and keep things looking fresh um, I'm waiting till I've actually found one perfectly or perfect that fits my series and fits what I'm doing um, with the 1.4.6 that came out um, I couldn't find a John Smith that was updated and uh, I liked the look of this one and this one was updated so I went for that so that's my reasoning uh, if you would like to see the Minecraft Chronicles in any kind of different format um, or different texture pack should I say just leave a comment and um, I'll check out any suggestions that you have for texture packs as well so we're going down now whether that's a good idea or not is another story because the ravine wasn't quite as exciting as I'd hoped it had been but we have found a Kane's cave system now as you can see from the minimap we're actually quite a long way from our house which is good news uh, now you notice the pick that I'm using it is enchanted, it's nothing exciting, um, I just used my 18 XP that I had and I basically, it's just efficiency 3 so it's nothing majorly exciting, but um, resources need to be gathered and the more we have the more stuff we can build which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, now New Year is approaching and I have um, a couple of ideas for the Minecraft Chronicles which I'd like to run past you to see what you will think about it. Um, now I've seen a mod, now when I say I've seen it, basically uh, a YouTuber which I'm sure you know of, um, his name is Chimney Swift 11 he makes uh, lots of different videos but I got into him through his Minecraft files. Um, in his season 4 of the Minecraft files, which was my favourite one, um, he actually installed a mod called Tropicraft, Tropi, Tropic Craft, I believe it's called, I can never pronounce it right, uh, but basically that turns Minecraft into like a tropical world, so you're like in a desert and you've got big volcanoes, you've got different ores, you've got different mobs, you've got different, different everything basically, um, I'd quite like to put that into the, um, oh that was a scary noise, uh, into the Minecraft Chronicles, if you don't mind, or if that's something you would like to see, because with it you can jump between your current world and other worlds as well, so which, is, oh, that's not really nice. uh, which is one of the reasons that I liked it and that I wanted to put it on. So uh, if you guys don't have a problem with that, I'll see how we go about installing it, and I'll speak to the um, I'll speak to the people that make the mod and see if they mind me doing a uh, uh, some videos on it. And at the end of the day, we can start the series. If we don't like it, we can easily um, jump back into this world as well. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to um, uh, Chimney Swift's channel in the uh, in the description. Um, I'm not going to put his name in the title or anything like that because I don't want to be accused of stealing his views or anything like that. Um, I'm not that kind of guy. I just like making um, I like making the uh, YouTube videos and I like playing games. So it's works out quite well that we can do the two of them. So unfortunately this tunnel was pretty crap, uh, but we are on a decent diamond level, so you never know, we might be able to pick some up. Now I can hear a skelly. I don't think he's particularly close, but I just heard his bones rattle. And if he is, that's a problem because I don't have a sword. 